we continue with a series of teachings of Jesus Christ. Remember, this week, on Monday, we began with the Sermon on the Mount in uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, where Jesus taught us about the program of happiness that we need to follow if we are to get to heaven. Today, we are still in chapter 5, but we have moved ahead. We are in verse 20 to 26. Jesus teaches his disciples and also teaches us today about anger. We realize that as human beings, anger is a problem to all of us. All of us get angry. And you realize that uh, all of us, we have a way how we manage anger differently. Some people, when they become angry, they cry tears and they shed off that anger. Some people, when they become angry, they shout to others. They even go on to fight other people. They cause chaos. Some people, when they become angry, they go to bed and sleep and they shed off that anger. How we manage anger is something we have to deal with as human beings. No wonder Jesus had to teach about anger. Also, we know very well children become angry with their parents, with everybody who comes their way. Jesus, even we had today in the Gospel of Matthew, he declared that anger is a sin. And whoever becomes angry with another person is going to be judged by God. Anger is a sin. So we need to find a way as Christians how to deal with it in the best way possible. And we had again in the gospel today, Jesus begins by quoting the law of the people of Israel from the Ten Commandments. That is the sixth commandment, where he say, where uh, the commandment says, "You shall not kill." That's what Jesus quoted for the people of Israel, and then he went on to explain to them. Jesus goes on to interpret the law over the people of Israel in order for them to understand and to be able to benefit from that law, from the Ten Commandments. And here, Jesus implies that before you think of, for example, killing someone, already something is going on within you. You are becoming angry every now and then with a the person. Many times it happens. Before another person kills another person, something goes on within you. You become angry with this person. And then the time comes when the anger has built up so much within you, and then you go ahead and kill that person. Therefore, Jesus says, deal with your anger first. Let us deal with our anger. If we can deal with the anger, then the act of killing can be stopped. So that's where the trick is, deal with your anger. Let us deal with our anger, all of us. The readings raise a very important question for all of us today. How do you deal with your anger? That's what we have to answer today. All of us struggle with anger. If we are not careful, if we are not careful, anger can lead us to do things one day we are going to regret in our lives. By the way, you cannot stand in front of uh, the judge and then you say to the judge, I killed that person because I became angry. The judge will throw you into prison if you say anything like that because the judge knows very well you can choose not to kill that person. But you went ahead and you killed the person we have a choice not to do something. Or we have a choice to do something. So 
you will not be spared by the judge. We must find a way of how to deal with our anger, my dear friends. If you have a problem of anger, I think the best way is to talk to a professional psychologist. We need to visit those people. Talk to somebody so that we can overcome this problem of anger. By the way, anger is human. Some things that um, proved that uh, Jesus is human, he became angry. You remember when he was in the temple and uh, he found uh, people selling merchandise in the temple of God. He came and drove those people out. He became angry with them. He overturned their tables and spilled everything in the temple. He became angry. But we have to find a way of how to overcome our anger so that we may continue to live good lives. Let us pray to God today to help us as Christians to overcome our anger and be able to live together in harmony.